Gracias. Hola, buenas tardes, and welcome back to our channel, Vicarious Travels. I'm Jess. And I'm Kyle. And we've been traveling around the Yucatan State for six months. Yeah, we actually, in our last video, we took you guys into El Centro of Merida, right down Paseo de Montejo, went over some of the reasons why we chose Merida to live in in the first place, and today we have brought you to the beautiful port town of Progreso, real popular stopping point for a lot of cruise ships that are going through the Gulf of Mexico, and there's a lot to do here. We're going to go over some of the things you can do while you're down in the area, some of our favorite places to stop and grab a bite to eat, and show you guys around. So uh, we haven't eaten yet today. We're gonna go grab some brunch here at Starving. one of our favorite restaurants, <laughs> La Antigua. Antigua. La Antigua. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let's go grab something to eat. Let's, let's do, do it. it. like seedy but really dry I'm not a fan I'm sorry to say I wish there was like a sauce with them I wish there was like a really nice dipping sauce that would go with it to be honest I'm not a fan but I do like trying new things so I'm up for it we'll try them yeah we'll try so what do you think Kyle <laughs> I like the pop. There's like a bit of cilantro in it. Yeah, the garnish is nice, eh? I don't really know. It's seedy, right? Yeah. It's like corn, not corn. It looks like it could be like some kind of quinoa or some kind of other grain in it. It's very dry, though. They're pretty dry, yeah. It could use the sauce, like you said. But they're good. Alright guys, we just finished lunch at La Antigua, which is actually located on the very far end of the Malacón here at Progreso, on the opposite end of where you'll get off if you're coming on a cruise ship or anywhere near the pier, it's kind of the opposite end. The reason why we chose this area is A, it can be a lot quieter of an area to come down to. Also, it just gives us an opportunity to kind of show all the way, like walk down the whole way down the Malacón show you guys everything that you know the beachfront area of Progresso has to offer. Uh, one of the first things we'll point out actually is this really cool beach club. You know there's no all-inclusive resorts down in Progresso but they do have some beach clubs one of which is right beside us here El Hague. Um, it's a nice beach club they serve drinks you're right on the beach so you can jump in the water some music going as you can hear now also you'll down here you'll find the big colorful Mexican signs uh, that you'll find in every city you'll find the big Progresso sign down here on the end of the Malacón so if you're getting off on the cruise ship and you want to see that uh, make sure to come down also right beside us too there's these really cute swings that you can go on get a great photo they also have this really cool seashell uh, frame that you can take a great photo in as well so down at this end there's some great places to grab some snapshots and i think it's also really important to iterate that progresso is really big for their cruise ships i think they get two or three a week um, so you do have to check this cruise ship schedules yeah well we've got this website we follow we just go right on there check the schedule make sure we're not coming on a day that a cruise ship is ported because the prices will go up it's so busy you can barely get on the beach the prices are skyrocketing everyone thinks that everyone's a tourist so yeah. of course it's gonna be more expensive yeah you'll notice that the locals come down on the days the cruises aren't here more i'm sure they the do weekends. the same thing and yeah the weekends for whatever reason it's just not as busy so we're here on saturday afternoon and it's considerably quiet as opposed to the days of if you were to come here when there's a cruise.
When you make your way down the Malecon, you're gonna see a number of restaurants and bars, all different kinds of varieties of food. So no matter who you are or what your favorite foods are, you're gonna find something that you like down here. You're also gonna find live music playing and a number of different vendors with stands selling trinkets or clothing. Uh, we're actually gonna be going to try and find a trinket later, but we just came across this really cool local artist that was selling some of his paintings down here as well. Something we definitely encourage during anyone's travels is to support local, especially over the last couple years with COVID. Obviously, a lot of these people have been hurt as, you know, they don't have the traffic that they typically get when the cruise lines were very active in this port city. So as much as you can, shop local. And we'll actually put a picture up right now of his business card as he said that he does sell the art online and also right in the middle of downtown so check that out if you're interested and yeah let's keep on going did you notice they are trying to make things a lot more accessible for disabled people they do have the ramps and everything so if you are disabled and need those ramps just head on down at the end of the beach and you'll be able to find them if you're looking just to come down on the beach and just relax, you can just grab a sun chair. They do charge them. Sometimes you can pay for them or you can buy food at the restaurant or you can just bring your own tent or towel. But they also do have tables available with the restaurant. So if you just want to sit down on the table on the sand and eat dinner. Awesome. Well, I think we're going to do that ourselves. Maybe just put down blankets couple, and Yeah, a couple towels it. and just enjoy the sand and the sun. All right, let's go. Let's, let's go soak up some water and sun. It. Let's do it. down the Progresso Melicon now. We've set ourselves up on the beach here just a few feet away from the water, laid down some towels and just kind of relaxing for a little bit. Now we've kind of covered some of the things you can expect to see when you come down here, some places you can eat. There is so many different things that you can do when you get to Progresso. Being that it's a cruise port town, there's so many different excursions. You can book excursions to go check out the Mayan ruins of Ishmal, Chichen Itza, or Mayapan. Uh, you can book a cenote tour where you can go jump in that crystal blue water of the Yucatecan cenotes. You can do kiteboarding right here in the Gulf of Mexico as well. One of our favorite things to do though, and we've done a couple times now, is hit up the banana boats that they basically, it's kind of like tubing when you go to a lake back in Canada. We're gonna do that here right away. We're excited to do that. Um, if there's any, if you've been to the beach town at Progresso or if you yourself just like to hit up excursions when you're on holidays, let us know in the description down below. What are some of your favorite things to do when you're on holiday? We definitely like the water sports or water activities. So uh, being that it's a little bit late in the day, might not be the best time to do the kiteboarding activities. But yeah, we're gonna go check out the banana boats and take you with us. Let's get it. We just missed it. So sad. So sad. One of our favorite things to do here is go rip around on the banana boats at the end of the day. And unfortunately we did not make it today. And yeah, it's, it's a fun time for sure. We suggest checking that out when you come down here. Like we mentioned, we started the day on the other end of the Malacan. Uh, we've now made our way all the way down the entire Malacan walkway right up to the world's biggest pier, whatever the you want to call it. The world's longest pier. The world's longest pier. So that's the Malacan uh, de Progresso here. We've taken you down, showing you some of the restaurants, some of the things you'll expect to see when you come down here. Kind of showing you some of the things that you can do if you come into Progresso. Unfortunately, we missed our banana boats, but <laughs> I think we're just gonna kind of relax here on the beach a little bit longer yeah. as the sun sets, and then maybe go find something to eat before we head back yeah, to Medida. Yeah, we will go for dinner. We do want to show you one more thing before we go. We do want to go shopping for our trinket. We do, yeah. We've got to find a trinket. 
One idea that I had shared with Jess earlier today she kind of liked, let us know what you think, but we're thinking of putting together kind of a postcard journal. So getting a postcard in the city that we're staying in or the city that we're visiting and then writing a little journal entry on the back of the postcard. But let's go. But let's go. I guess we're not really going. We're just gonna okay, chillin'. But yeah, we're just gonna be chilling out here for a little bit longer, watch the sunset, and then grab some dinner. Okay, well we've had a great day here at Progresso today. Uh, basically taking you all up and down the Malacon here. It's coming to the end of the day here, but as you can see, it's still quite busy here. Uh, <laughs> into the eve as day turns into night, into the evening. Um, you're gonna hear you're gonna see a lot of live music being played people are still hanging out at the bars really starts to light up the yeah. bars and restaurants here Here is actually like they light up at night and we'll try and get a good shot as it gets dark But the whole pier at night lights up purple greens. It's really cool Definitely an awesome place to spend the day for sure But uh, if you do show up a little bit later in the day like we did today, uh, you know, you might not have access to all the excursions like we missed the banana boat yeah. but uh, there are you know restaurants and bars that are still open the entire uh, Malacon is still lit up so you're able to kind of walk up and down enjoy that with some, some live music grab some cocktails um, and yeah so that's what we're gonna do we still haven't found our trinket yet we did kind of look around at some of the different vendors down on the Malacon still haven't quite found it yet we're gonna continue to look for uh, postcard for our postcard journal as well but um, yeah we're gonna start making our way down towards Crabsters where that's where we're gonna be having dinner tonight really great seafood restaurant right here on the Malacon and hopefully we find that postcard along the way I got my best friend right here <laughs> <laughs> so it's really cool as you go under the big pier in Progresso there's also there's also a small walk in here which goes all the way out that's really nice to do in the evening and as you see over here this part is called the L deck and so a bunch of music is happening down here people get cocktails uh, there's marquisitas there's even pizzas over here so this is a bustling area at night in progresso so we just went to a couple of shops and apparently they don't have postcards in progresso apparently just in merida so i'm a little bit surprised but i haven't given up hope yet and i am determined to get my postcard we have not given up we definitely want to make this uh, postcard journal we think it would be a good idea you know to kind of capture our thoughts in the moment something to look back on remind us of you know some of our favorite experiences in each place that we travel to and a fun way to kind of keep collect some keepsakes along the way so yeah we're not giving up hope we're not giving up hope not at all not at all Yeah. All right, guys, we just got two crabsters here. Gonna grab some dinner. One of the nicest restaurants on the entire Progresso Malacon. Seafood based, obviously, but they've also got some really great local flavors infused in their menu. Um, I'm gonna get some shrimp tacos, Jess's. Of course, I'm gonna do the pasta. You know me. I'm gonna be doing the feta treat. Fettuccine with lobster cream and a balsamic reduction. I'm all full of pasta, so every meal, pasta. Yeah, and it's a, it's a, again, it's a really nice restaurant. The setting is absolutely beautiful. Um, great place. At the end of the day, we kind of feel a little underdressed being that we've been <laughs> on the beach all day, but. I think it's okay here. Though. Yeah, no, I think they're used to it. So yeah, just gonna grab some dinner, and then I think we're gonna grab some marquesitas for dessert after before we head out as well. One of our favorite Yucatecan uh, foods, I guess, or desserts. Dessert. Yeah, it's a dessert. It's like a crispy crepe thing. We'll show you that in a few minutes here. But yeah, getting pretty hungry now, so excited for dinner. Food's here. I got the uh, shrimp tacos. 
the crispy shrimp tacos. I had them once before. One of my favorites. Had to have it before we go. <laughs> and Jess got a fettuccine lobster cream with a balsamic reduction. Kind of nervous. It looks a bit different. Different. But yes. we're, we're experimenting a bit today. So well, she is. She is. I'm, I'm not experimenting. I'm having something I know I've, I'm. I'm like. adventurous. <laughs> we're both adventurous. So how was it? We said we were gonna be honest about food. And so, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm just hard to please. No, actually I'm not, I'm not hard to please. <laughs> um, they, Your word. <laughs> I find the, it was a bit too much balsamic to be honest. It could have just been a quick like drizzle to give that like a touch of balsamic reduction, but it's kind of quite a lot. And then I find the lobster cream is really heavy, and then it's got cheese on top. So overall, I think the combination is just a bit too heavy mm. for pasta. And then you had a bite of mushroom tacos. I did, and they were so good. Like, I'm not, okay, I'm a bit iffy. Lots of people come to the Yucatan and they say they love the tortillas here. I'm a bit so-so on the corn tortillas. They have a really strong flavor and taste that kind of sometimes dominate the food that's actually in the taco. So I'm, so I'm a bit iffy on the corn tortillas here, but that is really good actually. I personally really like the corn tortillas down here. <laughs> and, and that's why I get this, boat, since I've gotten this the first time I ordered it here, I think there's been two or three times we've been to Crabster since and I always have to get the crispy shrimp tacos. So. We both definitely suggest the crispy shrimp tacos. The balsamic fettuccine with shrimp. Good. Good, but maybe not at the top of our list. So if you like shrimp tacos, this is definitely a place to get them. We just finished our dinner off at Crabster's. How was your meal? I, I love the shrimp tacos. They were really good. Jess, a little murmur in terms of her pasta there, but we're gonna make up for it right now by grabbing one of the staples of the Yucatan, a marquesitas, very popular local dessert. It's basically like a rolled up crispy crepe, and you can get it with all kinds of internal ingredients. My favorite is Nutella with banana and a little bit of peanut butter. Mine is Banana, Nutella with a bit of chocolate sauce with cream cheese. So we're gonna have to arm wrestle over which one we're gonna get to share and then <laughs> uh, we're gonna and then we're gonna probably call her a day and roll out. Look at this goodness. It is just covered in chocolate and cream cheese and banana and Nutella oh, and the Hershey chocolate syrup. Mm. It's so good. What's your favorite part of it? I don't know, all of it. Know all. <laughs> Just the combination, you know? It's definitely really good though. I love the Nutella and chocolate together with the banana. And then that cream cheese just makes it extra creamy, so that's yeah, real good. I can see why they're so popular down here for sure. <laughs> Cheers, you can tell. Uh, Alright guys, well, we're gonna finish up the Marquesitas and call an Uber home. I think we've had a long day here down at Progresso, but it's been a great time. And we're glad that we came down one more time before we leave the Yucatan. Um, now we're gonna be heading out. This is our last week here in the Yucatan. Sad. Yeah, so sad. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be leaving Mexico all together here right away and we're heading over to Panama. Coronado specifically. <laughs> Coronado, the small little beach town of Coronado about an hour out of Panama City. But we're gonna go into better detail of that in our videos to come, so. You know, if you want to continue following our adventures from Mexico down to Panama, don't forget, hit like. If you like this video, smash subscribe. Ring-a-ding-dong that Ring bell. Ring-a-ding-ding-dong. <laughs> so you're notified of our next video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.